There's been something going on. A lot of players have had yeah. uh, some kind of flu. We know that Serena Williams uh, has not been well. She's coughing up and, and sort of stuffy nose and stuffy chest. So hopefully Novak Djokovic is not having the same issues as Serena because against Andy Murray, you cannot be feeling anything but 100% to have a chance. Hopefully it's going to feel better uh, tomorrow and hopefully Serena Williams is going to feel better today because she was also a little bit so-so yesterday. Let's talk about that uh, clash in the final now. Uh, it's been a rivalry for many years but very one-sided. It has been the last, what is it, 10 years I think? Yeah. It's 10 years since Maria won, 11 years since she won. So. Uh, yeah, a little bit strange, I guess. Uh, Serena just seems to have, uh, obviously, a better serve, a little more power, but it's nearly like sometimes a player sort of decides in their mind, I'm not losing to this, to this player. I can't lose to this person. Uh, and uh, I think Serena sort of, she's made, made up her mind. And if Maria Sharapova is intimidated ever on the court, it's, it's nearly only against Serena Williams. And I, I don't know if that's the case, but certainly when it's as one-sided as it's been, you would think there is more to it than just tennis. And you probably don't see it back home, but it's actually been sprinkling here a little bit, so the roof has been closed. Um, how does that affect the players, you think? Is that a bit of an advantage for uh, Serena Williams or maybe even for Maria Sharapova? I mean, it, it would be an advantage to both of them if they played somebody else. And I think uh, in this matchup, Serena Williams, it, it's an advantage to the server. Serena Williams has a better serve than Sharapova, but Serena Williams serves well in any kind of condition, even when it's windy. She has a very controlled ball toss. She's able to slice the serve, hit it flat, she can kick it. She doesn't have a problem with the second serve, nor the toss. For Sharapova, I think if you take the wind out, obviously there's not going to be any sun because it's, it's uh, late in the evening here, or early in the evening, I should say. I would think Sharapova, in relative terms, it's easier for her to serve when it's indoors. Uh, I think Serena is a better wind player from the baseline because she can hit through the wind. She can also sort of defend a little bit better than Sharapova and she has, believe it or not, more experience. So I think if the roof is closed, it favors Sharapova, it still doesn't mean that she's the favorite. And once obviously it's closed, it's going to stay closed. Yeah. Okay, to get more ready for this women's final, we have prepared a little report about the two. Here it comes. Well, we've talked obviously about this long winning streak that Serena Williams has over Maria Sharapova. Overall record is 16 and 2. Sharapova hasn't beaten Serena since 2004, but having saved two match points in the second round against Alexandra Panova, she's really played some great tennis. So, how does she explain this well, long like so some losing the streak? Have been easy. Some I've had my chances and didn't necessarily take. She's someone that makes you go for a little bit more than, than you would like. Maria's playing great. She is in the tournament only because she's a, a fighter and only because she refuses to give up. Sharapova is playing in her 10th Grand Slam final. She's won five out of the nine in comparison. Serena's 23rd Grand Slam final. She's won 18 of them. I think we, my game matches up well against her. I love playing her. I think it's fun. I love her intensity. I just, for whatever reason, I just love, the, love playing and I just have the time of my life. Serena, of course, coached by Patrick Moratoglu, and he's saying that Sharapova keeps evolving her game. She plays in a very different way today from that of a couple of years ago. She's brought new things to her game. We really have to get into the point. Um, if she's serving aces and serving extremely hard and, and finding her spot, sometimes that's a tough day. But if you, if you find yourself in the rally, you've got to be smart. Moritoglu thinks that Sharapova's oui, serve will be a crucial factor. Not that great, it'll put pressure on her. In contrast, Serena's serve, because she's been serving so well throughout the whole tournament, it'll be hard to beat her. We'll need to get a lot of her first balls back into play. If Sharapova does that, she's very dangerous. But if Serena is aggressive, she can make it the difference. So the serve and the return of serve will be the, uh, the key to this final. For well, the last Grand Slam final they played against each other, Roland Garros, 2013. I'm definitely proud to be in the final, and, and as I said, I think 
when you get to that stage, you can't focus on any, any of the previous matches. Of course, it's tough knowing that I haven't beaten her in the past and that she has such a powerful game and that I've had trouble against her. But on the other side, when, when it's a final situation and knowing I'm, I'm a big competitor, um, I will do everything I can to try to win the match. Well, yeah, I'm happy that I have this pressure. pressure. Pressure is a privilege for me. I'd rather have 18 Grand Slam titles in pressure than one and none, or none and none, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's a great pressure to have being in a Grand Slam final. This is what you dream about. Okay, just to keep you up to date, uh, the latest news are that they're opening the roof now, so they're probably not expecting any further rain here. Now, coming back to that uh, report, it's interesting to see uh, Maria Sharapova, she, she's only living in the future, in the present, and she just believes in herself. Whatever happened in the past, she doesn't care. No, I think she's right, though. It's a final, and uh, um, it's different. It's, it's Australian Open final. It's got nothing to do with the French Open. Um, Serena's looking for a sixth title. Who knows how focused she'll be if, that's, if she's looking too far ahead in the future for, for a 19th Grand Slam title. Is that on her mind? So I agree with Sharapova. I mean, from personal experience playing in a Grand Slam final, no, it didn't matter at all what happened even two weeks before if you lost to somebody. This is a completely different situation. Uh, both players know that we're both nervous uh, and, you, and you're in front of everybody. This is the last match of the tournament. You don't know how much you have in your tank when it's the last match because we're going home anyway the following day or two days later depending on how much fun you have the night of your victory so uh, I think uh, I, I'm with her there Maria Chapoa for sure I don't think that the pass is gonna matter that much it's more the matchup between the two okay it's now time to have a little bit of a closer look at that clash here some analysis pretty interesting Both players have strong first serves. And here in Melbourne, Serena has the advantage in terms of their average speed. Six miles an hour faster than Maria's. But it's her ability to inject pace that gives her distinct superiority. She's hit the fastest of the tournament so far at 127 miles an hour, much quicker than Maria's, which only gives opponents a little over half a second to react. From a biomechanical perspective, there's much to admire in Serena's motion. Sir Isaac Newton would be proud of the amount of ground reaction force she creates initially, and she makes great use of all of the large muscle groups in her body throughout. She has wonderful shoulder rotation, adding her exceptionally strong upper body to the overall coordination chain, and the vertical angle she creates with her shoulders allows her to generate even more racket head speed. But one of her greatest strengths is her ability to control the ball toss and then disguise her serves, and here's a good example. If you look very closely, you'll see two balls here. So an identical contact point on two different serves. But check out where they land, in opposite corners of the service box. So from an opponent's perspective, it's almost impossible to read. Which is one of the fundamental reasons why she's been able to hit so many aces. 70 and counting so far here in Melbourne. But Maria struggles to control her ball toss, and thus, it's easier to read her serves. Here's a selection of them. Note how those on the right tend to go out wide, and those more central go down the middle. So if you're smart, you can start to read that and return better. So there's no doubt the quality of serving will go a very long way to determining the outcome. But once they get into a rally, Maria would love to try and dictate play throughout from her comfort zone, which is centrally located. From this position, she's able to dominate with aggressive first strike tennis. Her average rally hit point so far is only about a foot behind the baseline. And most of her winners here in Melbourne have come from that position centrally. 50 so far, with just 35 unforced errors. But look at the difference. Once she's forced wider, she becomes less effective. Just 25 winners and a whopping 42 unforced errors from her forehand wing, and just 16 winners and 28 unforced errors from her backhand. Even though her movement's undoubtedly improved, she'll be desperate to govern from her favorite position on big points. If she's forced to defend, she'll lose the initiative and lose control of her own destiny.
a lot of information and a lot of numbers we've just seen there, Mats. But the basic thing is like when Maria, let's take the surf away. But when Maria gets the ball into the middle, then she's very good executing the, the points and going to those sidelines. So um, Serena Williams would probably try and make her move. I would think they're both going to try and make each other move. And I think with Sharapova, I think the important thing for her is that when she gets the ball in the middle, she has to really commit to going to a winner. Because if she goes close to a sideline and she's not committed to that shot and she doesn't hit it hard enough, then suddenly she opens up the angles for Serena. And now if Serena can drag Maria Sharapova out to her forehand, that's where she's making most of the errors, whether it's a forced error or an unforced error. So I think it's going to be a little bit of cat and mouse there where try and get the first strike in hard maybe down the middle then get the short ball and then when you go wide you better go hard uh, and, and nearly go for a winner but uh, again it, it's going to depend on how they're striking the ball I say if they take the serve away and they serve underhand I would actually put Sharapova as the favorite to win okay so what do, so what do you think is going to happen tonight then at the end of the day they can't take the serves out they can't take them away no you can neutralize the serve though so I think yeah. two things have to happen for Sharapova I think she has to go in and really uh, go after Serena's second serve and then what has to happen with that is that Serena starts pulling back on her first serve percentages drop when she goes for it and maybe she just spins the first serve in and then suddenly that's neutralized and then of course for Sharapova she has to get a high percentage first serves in and they also have to be free points so to speak and then keep the double fault count down especially on big points and she obviously also has to get off a good start I suspect I would think so although both of them have been great uh, sort of not front runners they always are but here they come from behind both of them in a couple of matches so I think they're both kind of surprised and happy that they're in the finals. Okay, Maria and Serena are walking towards Rod Laver Arena. I wonder what's going through their heads at the moment. We are going to a quick commercial break now, and then we'll be back with the women's final. Maria Sharapova taking on Serena Williams. Welcome back live to the Rod Laver Arena. Serena walked out on court second spent the entire walk to the chair looking up at the open roof because it's still drizzling a little bit she looks pretty concerned she's not well we know that so there's much to concern her this evening and when she got to the spin of the coin with Alison Hughes of Great Britain in the umpire's chair she said what's happening with the roof because it's raining a little bit Alison Hughes says I will find out but they're warming up as we speak with the roof open and we'll just uh, keep an eye on the conditions second French Open of course for Maria Sharapova last year Chris Bradham alongside former quarter finalist here world number five Joe Jury good evening Joe evening Chris champion hero eight Serena five times the last five years ago heavy heavy favorite without the sort of cold and virus that she's had and it's probably just as well that she's had a really tough match saving those match points Joe second round because the odds are heavily against her tonight in this matchup they are what everyone's talking about she's got to do something different but uh, having got through those two match points she then actually played really solid tennis and served well of course she's got to serve well she's got to cut out those double faults and uh, well i think vary it a little bit more a great champion they both are of course and serena looking to go ahead of martina navratilova and chrissy ever winning yet another major 19 it will be she can pull it off she says it's not life and death for her Joe because she's won it five times already and they're playing for the Daphne Ackhurst trophy cup five times a titleist here Daphne matching Serena all those years ago yeah, amazing but apparently she had a temperature of 102 earlier on today she didn't look great yesterday I'm sure you know the doctors and everyone have done what they can with her and now it's up to Serena just to do what she can yes it's a 23rd major final sixth here she's looking for a 19th major and she's not lost once she's got to this stage in the Australian Open a confirmation of the five wins phenomenal record but she has pretty much wherever she plays I think you know she talked about last year trying to get that 18th Grand Slam title and she just got too uptight and that's why she was losing at Grand Slams and finally managed to relax at the US Open. What have you made of her route through? 
Well, you know, tough against uh, Vera Zvonareva, 5-3 down and set points down and then won 10 games in a row and then she was tested again by Svitolina and Muguruza, but uh, really looked good against uh, Sybil Kova and then uh, contained Madison Keyes, so it's been getting better, I think a bit like Maria, really. Alison Hughes, not the first time she's been sitting in one of the cherished seats doing a major final. Yeah, so there's the head-to-head, -head, and we know, 15 in a row. This so, staggering, isn't it? <laughs> so what can Maria do? And that was the two wins in 2004, the Wimbledon final, of course, and the season-end championships in Los Angeles at the end of the year, Joe. We called that match, mm. and uh, Serena was really injured, too, in mm. that match. She was, and she couldn't serve at all. But uh, the Wimbledon final was just amazing. Juniors have been competing in finals today. Lucky for Katie Swan, an injury got the better of her. Runners up in the girls' junior singles, but congratulations to the wheelchair champion. If you ever get a chance to watch them in action, don't miss it because it's quite extraordinary what they do. Just two bounces for the wheelchair players, that's the only difference. Yeah, the roof is not fully open. No, it's not. It's <laughs> undecided what to do at the moment. They forecast potential drizzle and maybe mm. a bit of interruption and they, they thought it might, might well be an indoor final. It would be the third if that was to happen. But it's open at the moment. <clears throat> Welcome along to all British Eurosport viewers. There's been five Australian Prime Ministers since Maria Sharapova's last win against Serena Williams. It's been that long. The latest Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, is under a lot of pressure. And I think Sharapova perhaps is tonight too. Of course, this is a repeat of 07. It was 1 and 2 then. And maybe, you know, it could be a leveller, Joe. You mentioned earlier, before British Eurosport viewers joined us, that Serena had a temperature of over 100 earlier on today. She's mm. feeling a lot better now, but the last few days, she's been really bad in the morning and then sort of getting mm. better in the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, yesterday she went back to practice in the morning, just felt terrible, went back to the hotel and slept and came back and did practice. And she said, you know, it was fine. But I'm, I'm sure she's uh, sort of been dosed up by the doctors with cold remedies. There's... Uh, Patrick Moratoglu, who, Serena says, helped her so much to be so much more consistent in her tennis. They'll be keeping an eye on the big screen tonight, won't they? <laughs> yeah, it's funny old weather, isn't it? This whole week in Melbourne has been so cool. It's only 18 degrees at the moment, 64 yeah. degrees. And the roof is hardly open, really. They are expecting more showers. Inevitably going to be nervous, both women, as mm. experienced as they are. 23rd major final for Williams, 10th major final for Sharapova with her team, Sven Grunefeld, left of picture at the front. He's one of the biggest cheerleaders in the box you'll ever see. Together a year now. Yeah, and interestingly that Maria practised indoors today. Yeah. Maybe she knew something. The weather forecast is for showers tonight. Also be interesting to see how quick Williams is out the blocks, Joe. We often mm. see her start matches and the serve is at half pace. Mm. But if she's really feeling rough, only she knows how she feels. She's going to want quick and powerful points, surely. I think so. That's what she's been doing lately. She's not been feeling great and she's so capable of doing it. That's the thing. Predictions? Who's going to win? Well, I think it's hard to judge, actually. It depends how well Serena is feeling. Um, you have to go with Serena, I think. But... Uh, Let's see how she starts off. And, of course, it's up to Maria and her serve. It's got to be good. Um, there's some coming. Some coming. Last few nervous moments. So the final of the Australian Open 2015. Serena Williams five times a former champion and up against a woman who's won it once Maria Sharapova
15 wins in a row for Williams in this matchup. What can Sharapova do tonight to upset the odds? Mm, straight away, oh, that was a first serve. But Maria's been saying, you know, uh, time she's played Serena, that she's just tried to do too much straight away, tried to be so attacking that she hasn't got enough balls in court. But she's got to attack to a certain extent. Well, she won the toss and decided to serve Sharapova, so they must have planned on that. She's looking a little bit off the pace at the moment. Definitely looking for a quick start. Early balls, pacey. Keep an eye on the clock between points. She's been regularly over 20 in the tournament. Mm, every time. Let's. Not wasting any time, Williams. He's just going to see the ball hit it. Which tells Sharapova she's not feeling well. That is way too good. I mean, the movement difference. I mean, Sharapova's improved so much, but it's huge. Yes, it's nowhere near. I mean, she'll try for everything, Sharapova, as normal. But Williams makes it look so easy at times, going across the court. Challenge? It looked wide. It did. Could really help Serena tonight if she's not feeling well to adopt this attitude of how she's going to play. Uh, she thinks it's in now. It's well in. Yeah. Advantage, Sheriff. Now the cough is still there. So she doesn't want long points. No. Clean as a whistle. I mean, we were talking the other day about how cleanly Madison Keys hits it off her racket, but that one there, you can hear the difference. 
No noise. Saving the throat. Yeah. I wonder if she could make a noise to yeah. her. She might just cough if she does so. Let's Yeah, she's coughing again. That was a good serve as well, body serve, and then it gave her the ball she wants. She kind of readied herself for it, didn't deliver. First break point of the final. The first of how many, we wonder. Terrific start for Williams. Real intent. Djokovic practicing this sort of time. Just to get ready for uh, the battle tomorrow night against Andy Murray. Would that be his second practice of the day, do you think? I'm not sure. Um... I mean, you've played so much tennis, haven't you, by the time you get to a final of a Grand Slam? <laughs> Daphne Atkirst Memorial Cup. She also, like Serena, won this tournament five times. Way back in the 20s. 15 love. Her life tragically cut short. Died when she was 29. Ectopic pregnancy. But it is a magnificent trophy. Mm. Sure, probably not quite ready. Fifteen all. Oh, we well, didn't expect that. Very soft double fault. Shoulders are pretty tense. 30, 15. Sharapova. And the first backhand really did stretch Williams. It was ripe for the second. Everyone's got a nemesis player. There's absolutely yeah. no doubt who Sharapova's is. Oh, it's a good stretch. Get the return. 30. It's going to be tough for Serena. She's coughing already. If she, if she needs to really dig deep and, you know, make some noise, she's going to be able to breathe. This is where Sharapova's game plan is all out aggression, all out attack, hitting the ball hard. I mean, that obviously plays into Williams' hands, and why the matchup is bad, Williams is better at it over the last 15 meetings. It's, it's almost 
be better if Sharapova had an Andy Murray type game where she, he could defend and chip and slice and drop shot and just make long rallies happen. Too good. Oh. Williams needs two games to love per se. Can see. Tough for her, but this isn't going to do it either. I mean, it's tough for Sharapova. She cannot get balls like that, whereas Williams might be able to. They all look pretty confident. I know it's early, but Sharapova's already lost two finals here. Very easily. One and two against Serena 07. Azarenka 2012, three in love. She needs to get on the scoreboard. I mean, I would have thought she'd be going at the Williams forehand, surely as hard as she can, to try and get some of these errors to occur, the ones where she lifts up a little bit too early on the shot. You can't get any more <laughs> determined than these two, can you, actually, in the women's game? Well, it's the first time for 11 years the top two have been in the final. Mm. Well done. Game. Love game to open the account with. Should make for a more comfortable sit down here after 12 minutes. Williams 2 1 first set. is one gruelling point. I think she's complaining about no interception from mm. uh, Alison Hughes, but she could have challenged. Yeah, could have challenged. I mean, couple in a row seemed to skid off the line. Yeah, I think that one did. She had a good look at the line after picking that backhand yeah. up. Well, that was an unexpected drop shot. Breathing very heavily after that point. Mm. Well measured. Wow. Yeah, she's really hurting. Well, the choice is to make the points as short as possible. She's so capable of doing it. All of that is on the big screen. 30, 50. 
Probably been the first ace of many. I mean, she's been serving a lot of aces in her previous matches, mainly 15, 17 against other people. Agnieszka Radvanska played Wimbledon a few years ago with a chest infection. Took Serena Williams to three sets in the final that year. Nearly got it done. Ill. They've dealt with so much, though, mm. the Williams sisters yeah. in their lives. Of course, and, you know, and the tension of, of playing doesn't help. You're breathing either. You get tight. It's hard to get the breath down into your lungs enough. She did look straight away at Alison Hughes. She can be quite late challenging Sharapova. It's caught the line. Tough game, though, for Williams, physically. Not by her standards ordinarily, but mm. all the before mentioned. She keeps shaking her head. Goodness, look. Yeah, she's struggling to breathe. Let's see how quick she can make these points. I mean, Sharapo is looking down the other end at all. She must be seeing this. I and mean, she's got to make those balls. She's got to make the rallies longer. She just knows one way, doesn't she? Mm. And in a way, obviously, that inflexibility if you like has made her as successful as she is of course because she treats everything the same but I'm with you just dig in maybe mm. take a bit of pace out just make them as long as possible Thirty fifteen. Of course, the temptation to swing away because you have to it sometimes makes you swing too quickly. Just snatching at that shot. Yes, I think the lines people in the umpire better be really sharp tonight. There's going to be a lot of lines hit. It's out, well played. Well, we are seeing the drop shot a couple of times. That's good. That'll be wearing. We have a match here. Williams, 21 fascinating minutes. Williams with the break. Leads 3-2. Tape on the left hand there below the watch. It's the place where they uh, attach drips. Not, not saying she has been on mm. a drip. But she's been very unwell. Love 
Well, they are both totally focused. They are peppering the lines yeah. tonight. Yeah, the baseline in particular. Trying to force each other back out of the court. Oh, she was walking. No, she's not. Bluffing, maybe, then. <laughs> Line to line again. Mm. Great defence from Sharapova. Yeah, she's half volleying, flicking. She's doing whatever she can to stay in it. She was hoping this was going to be called out, but I think it jumped off the line yet again. Just a little look at the umpire. Thirty. intensifying yeah it's raining quite hard mm. oh my goodness can't believe Serena didn't notice yeah. I mean it rained as they uh, drizzled not as heavy as this when they first walked out onto court mm. no that's too heavy it is the lines they'll get so dangerous They'll hold them here for a few minutes. Mm. Wayne McEwen, referee, is on. They'll make a decision, because once they shut the roof, it stays shut for the rest of the match. They'll want to try and make it... Well, that looks yeah. ominous. It was forecast. That looks bleak. There's, it's not very open, is it? Let, let's no. say, the roof. <laughs> yeah, normally it's 15 minutes. It might be a yeah. bit quicker than that, but yeah. it's going to be quite a delay, because this mm. court's getting pretty wet. Need an umbrella up. Straight away, the, the tails coming out for the lines. There's an army of them. It's been the coolest January for many many years mm. 30 40 years it's like new york it is well, they were ready for this yeah. it's very quickly out on court it's quite a big decision here really because you don't want interruption after mm. interruption with the drizzle no. and the rain and the clouds look pretty threatening yeah players going off well, i'm surprised they haven't shut it before. I mean, look at that. It's pouring with rain. Yeah. They'll always want it to be an outdoor tournament. Mm. But that's too much. There's yet more towels coming out. <laughs> what a good start. I mean, Serena coping really well because she's yeah. clearly so under the weather. She is. She really is. And she's just going for it. And, and this is a really good contest. I, I just love the way they've been looking tonight. The game faces are on. I mean, she was very concerned when she first walked out on court. The whole walk to the chair was looking up because it was drizzling very, very finely. And the roof we've just heard from uh, Craig Willis, it, it will be closed. So this will become an indoor final, the third in its history. And the women's event here indoors. Yeah, shouldn't take so, too long, really. Yeah, but it was a good idea to leave it partially mm. shut at the start. Yep. So it really has, uh, or will speed things up. They're hardy souls. <laughs> So it shouldn't be too long. 
with the amount of volunteers we've got. Before this final can get back underway, it'll be an indoor final from here on in. So the players backstage, rain still getting through in the very centre part now where the roof is coming together. The country that's so often in drought. There'll be a few enjoying it. <laughs> Does it change much? Indoor match coming up, the little break here. I don't think so. I mean, the roof was very nearly closed anyway. It, was, it won't take long and I think, uh, you know, they're both pretty much like an indoor arena. But there was great tension, wasn't there, just before the rain. 30 all on the Williams serve mm. and there was a lot going on. I mean, I'm just trying to put myself in Serena's position of how unwell she's been. Temperature mm. today over 100 degrees this morning. She's got hot, she's been sweating. Suddenly she's gone off, she's going to get cold, she's got to warm up again. I mean, that's horrible when you're feeling ill and you've yeah. got a bit of a virus. I mean, she really did look unwell after one of those long points. You could hardly breathe, she was coughing and shaking her head. That's how bad she feels. But, you know, as we've also said, that she is capable of shortening the points. She might as well just go for it, you know, as soon as the point finishes, go for it on the serve. I mean, that looks horrible outside. Yeah, it really does. Amazing facilities here now, though. Three retractable roofs. Of course, the brand new, magnificent Margaret Court Arena closes in less than five minutes. Very dry at the backs already. Currently on Eurosport 2, Asian Cup final career against Australia. A lot of excitement out here from the Aussies, obviously. Sharapova on the court, Serena Williams backstage. Mm. Yeah, she just wants to, to get away from it all, I think. And... They've got the never-ending supply of towels, it looks like. That's a good job. Just that bit just on the net now. Yeah, it'll take literally minutes. It's going to be less than less than a quarter of an hour, that's for sure. The break here. But it'll be interesting to see how Serena is on the restart. It really will. I mean, this has been a real leveller, the illness for Serena Williams, for all sorts of reasons. We'll be back. Well, she's back. But all the way down the tunnel, back onto the court, a coughing fit for Serena. She's had to leave the court because it's uncontrollable right yeah. now. She is really struggling. She, she is. I think you're right that this break uh, is being no good for Serena Williams at all. Sharapova taking it all in her stride. She's going to obviously use it, channel yeah. it to her advantage yeah. if she can. I mean, the matchup nightmare. Can't keep repeating the stat, everybody knows it backwards by yeah. now, but she's got to find something, an extra motivation to give her the belief that she could somehow just defy all the odds and get a win here yeah. tonight. And this is certainly doing her no harm at all. Well, it's an interesting situation because, you know, if they call time, which they surely should do, what's happening with Serena? Is she having an injury timeout back there? Or? Good point. Yeah, Alison Hughes is asking the question. Donna Kelso is backstage with Serena supervisor looking down the tunnel Sharapova where is Serena mm. and then the question inevitably will come surely to Alison Hughes what is going on here mm. comes Wayne McEwen with an explanation well it's a good point you make Joe well we can't see what's going on 
back there at the moment. But uh, I think uh, Maria's doing the right thing. She's out on court. She's shadow swinging. She's ready. She's got to keep focused. And of course, yeah, Serena sh shouldn't have been able to talk to a coach in that break. Because really, the player should have stayed on court. Yeah. Unless they all needed a loo break, like Boris Becker the other night. Yeah. Didn't go down very well with Novak, did it? <laughs> Now, all eyes on Serena. Mm. Coughing fit seems to have subsided. So, coming up, best part of a quarter of an hour this break. Remember, it's 3-2 uh, Williams with the break, 30 all. been through so much on and off the court injuries life-threatening problems tragedy oh, shit. the murder of a half-sister started the tough way from Compton what a story that was the way they came through under Richard's guidance in particular training them and bring them up as champions thank you ladies and gentlemen this is pretty minor really by comparison to everything else in their lives but it's an issue. There's no doubt it's a player in this final tonight. The health of Serena Williams. 30 all, 3 2, as they resume. It's not too shabby. <laughs> so, oh, she could have hoped for. She's had the coughing fit. She doesn't want to run and have to breathe deeply. Just look at that reaction. She only hit three shots. It's like she hit 303. Yeah. Oh, an ace and then a beautifully timed winner. Couldn't have asked for anything more. Well, that's being played on the screen as you keep pointing out, Chris, that Sharapova can plainly see. I'd switch it to Williams's backhand at the moment. We've seen a couple of drop shots from Sharapova. We need to see the angles too to try to get Williams on the move. I know she's dangerous on the move, but she's got to push her in that way somehow. Trouble is, you get that. <laughs> you create the angle. Well, it's just whether Shabo can do it a few points in a row. I think uh, Williams can do it like that. That was a great move from her. Lovely angle. Ouch. Hasn't won a point yet on the resumption, Sharapova. Three more break points. So a lot of tweets out there at the moment saying that uh, Williams did see a doctor when she went back down the corridor.
again, Williams. Six points in a row for Williams under the roof. It's good, Madison. Williams is five. Five two. New balls in play for Serena Williams, serving for the opening set at 5-2. Well, she won't serve many double faults, and obviously she's looking for the big aces to keep the points a bit shorter. Yeah, the error's more prone on the forehand side of Williams. Well, definitely so far in the match, and I'm surprised that uh, Chapeau isn't going constantly to the forehand at the moment. That's what Panova did to Sharapova. Second round. So many errors from uh, Sharapova's forehand. Well, again, Williams can't really make a noise because I think if she tried to, she'd start coughing. So she's having to keep everything very much within herself. Well, that was pretty quick. 15, 14. These are the first break points for Sharapova. Boy, does she need to take one. 30, Sent the wrong way, covering the wide serve. Third ace, beautifully struck. Four from ten behind this second serve. Chance here for Sharapova. Gifted the break back. One at least. Yeah, two doubles in the game. Now, can Sharapova get enough first serves in in particular? A little flat-footed. Return back so quick. It's the thing. She doesn't direct her serve well enough, and it comes flying back with the pace. She's done quite a few half volleys already. Yes, no wonder they're standing up. That was brilliant by Williams to stay in it. What a shot there, flicked it. Not quite enough touch at the end. Love 
la cousine. Hasn't failed to convert a break point yet. Williams, two from two, his three set points. Breaks to love. Affords herself a roar. 47 minutes, including the break. 6 3 Williams. Please, thank you. Welcome back and welcome along to Mats Villand, a three times a former champion here with his views of what we've seen so far. Good evening, Mats. Good evening, Chris. Quite a lot of incident. Uh, yeah, lots of incidents. I think it's actually helping Serena uh, to know that she can't, well, she did defend beautifully in one of those points before, but she's just going full out, trying to take time away from Sharapova. And I'm not sure, but I think once you've lost, is it 15 times? Yeah. Well? Yeah, I think that there's, it's time. It's time to really do something drastic. She's got three games on the board. If she keeps this up, Sharapova, she's not going to win this match. So what do you do? She's hit a couple of drop shots. She's got to move around more when she returns, sir. Be more active. It's Good obviously luck. difficult to, to do, but you've got to do something. You've got to roll up a high top spin forehand sometimes to Serena's backhand. You've got to go for some short angles. Maybe take a little bit off your first serve because Serena is just hitting the return right back at Chapo and she can't get out of the way. Step into the second serve. Just play your match at this point. Oh. Again, well, she certainly did there, but Williams equal to it. Yeah, I think that Serena Again, loves this matchup. Time. That you could hear that in, in the before match interviews and after the semi-finals, it's it's perfect for her. And I think Sharapova is just this physical uh, intimidation and there's mental intimidation as well. And I think Sharapova sometimes or very often tries to play the matches at her pace. She takes time, but between points, she turns around, she sort of corrects the strings in a racket and. Somehow she's being rushed by Serena. Don't know what to do. Yeah, it's really tough for her. Yeah, I don't know if anyone really wants to be in Sharapova's shoes when Serena Williams is in this kind of mood. And again, I think the fact that she's not 100% actually is helping her in this matchup. Thanks very much, Mets. Welcome back, Joe. Well, I love it when you hear from Matt. When you hear from a champion about the sort of mental intimidation as well. They're both trying to do it to each other, of course. Yes. <laughs> they are the divas of the game. Well, she's preparing to come in too. She's closing every door in uh, Sharapova's face here. If you're not going to mix it up, I will. Well, she's on a mission, William. She has to be because of how she's feeling. And she's doing it awfully well. Please. It has got pretty one-sided 
as many feared it would be. Gone down the line. 15-13. No, I, I think that actually Williams is looking slightly better yeah. to me. Her breathing was under control yeah. at the end of that point, and that was a pretty tough point. Exactly. So that's even more ominous for yeah. Sharapova. Fifteen fourteen. Yeah. She knows how important that is. Maria was in charge. Look at that, middle of the court. That's where she wants to dominate from. More chances. 30-40. Sven Grunefeld after the comeback win, saving the match point second round against Panova. It's in Sharapova's DNA. Doesn't know when to give up. Problem is, she's playing somebody who's A to Z. Well, the serve absolutely needs to work like that every time. Just for the record, this miss it was dropped in the crowd. <laughs> Doesn't go down well here, does it? <laughs> More than once. Oh dear. The advantage, Sharapova. The crowd want a battle, they want a fight. She's got plenty of that, Sharapova, but they want it pretty close on the scoreboard too. You get greedy when you come to watch a final. Well, the crowd's cheer as loud as the roar from Sharapova herself. Great hole. One more second, sir. Really was. She battles all the time. You know she will, Sharapova. Whether she's going to be good enough, you don't know. But she'll give herself every chance. She can't pick the serve. Nope. That time she was covering the middle, so the slider comes in. It's the best female serve of all time. It has to be. And it's so well disguised. Dirty love. Well, we're hearing more from Williams. I'm trying to drive this on. Forty love. Game, Williams. Love game, Williams. The eyes narrow one, as the and senses one. sharpen. Set and two one. So Sharapova. One two second set. It almost feels like two Americans out there. There's been a lot written about that this fortnight. Yeah. A lot of comments from the other Russian players, as in no comment on the subject. 
Well, of course, uh, Maria's playing Fed Cup. Wow. It needs to be that good, and it needs to be that early. Yes. In the point. Straight and true and middle of the racket. Oh, that's oh. in. Has to challenge, but I think that's in. She thought it was going out. Must be about the fourth time in this match, at least, mm. where they've hit two shots in a row on the line. Yeah. The pair of them. Let's see. Yeah. It is. Bad decision. 15 all. Ms. Sharapova has two challenges remaining. Let's for service. You can see she's just being pushed to the absolute limit, Sharapova. Do you think that she's thought at all yet? I hate playing Serena Williams. <laughs> well, she did concede she found it quite hard in her interview before the final. But she said, I'll try and find a way, and she is. Big cat down the line, yeah. left begging. <laughs> left hand comes out. <laughs> Calm down. It's been a good friend to Serena over the years, that left hand. It sure has. It's pretty flexible. Wow. But this is much more animated from Serena from the beginning of the match. She looked dreadful after the first three games. Health-wise, I mean. Got it again. Wow. She's really giving it some here, Sharapova. Well, she has to. It's brilliant to see. You know, you will want to feel this between these two. Yeah, they've had their scraps in the past, haven't they? Yes. And a few scrapes. <laughs> Thank you, players are ready. Got to outshine those men <laughs> the other night. <laughs> That'll take some doing, Joe. <laughs> Let's first service. It's only the third point lost behind the first serve for Williams, but she's six from 14 behind the second. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I think Serena thought that might have been a fault. She's going to get another ball from the ball boy. <laughs> well, she read the serve this time, Sharapova. <laughs> Beautifully. Not that time, but at least she's going one way or the other. Mm. But she's in the game, isn't she? The cat and mouse game. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> that was aimed straight down the court to Sharapova. <laughs> oh. Look good from here. I'm not going to touch it. Sharapova is challenging the call on the left hand serve. The ball's called in. Yeah, I think the come on from Serena just bounces off Maria. She's used to it. She'll give one back. The 30-year-old Miss Sharapova has one challenge remaining. She read it again, just couldn't handle it. Yep. And you've got to put that down as a chance. If you get your racket to the ball on a Williams first serve. Again, Williams. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Set in 3 2, Williams. Three games to two, second set, and by one set to love. All must-win service games for Sharapova. Serena so fired up now. Thank you, players are ready. Quiet, please. Thank you. Set down. 2-3 down. Second set. Fifteen love. Love. Surprised she missed that, Williams. She's been going after those second serves so much. Yeah, I think Serena more than surprised. Livid. Channeling everything positively. 30-15. Oh, that's three quarters of the way up the service box, but it's still not good enough against Williams. Great names on there in terms of intimidation. Right up there. Ever seen Serena Williams look more determined than tonight? I'm not sure I have. 30 40. And in a way, it gives great respect to Sharapova. She knows this is it, every point. It's 
almost like after the coughing fit. She flicked the switch and said, just deal with it. Mm. She's been completely different since then. Well, can Sharapova hang on to another service game? She's got to ride the storm, hasn't she, somehow? And then who knows? so well to have a chance to win yeah, the point and she probably feels well. she should have done i think so there's a couple of wrong footers sharapova played williams somehow twisting and turning and getting it back and then just you think sharapova's played the wrong shot williams should have had that Yeah, throwing down the gauntlet, Sharapova. This is great stuff. <laughs> Loving it. Three game goals, second set. You just couldn't try any harder than these two are at this precise moment, trying to dominate each other. This is a treat for everybody here. And from wherever you are watching it from. Serena's firing Maria up. Yes. Love 15. It's gone past fever pitch, hasn't it? Last game, love 30. Serena served three aces out of the next four points. Wait, That's how she can turn her serve on. Going the wrong way again initially. Which way this time will Serena go? She's mixed it up so beautifully tonight. Again, covering the tee, going the wrong way. She's on track to repeat, Joe. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That go. is unplayable. Yep. 40, 30. Don't really know what you can do about that. Most fantastic serve. She still only lost four points behind her first serve in the match. And it is the best in the business. Players thinking so too. But she's six from 16 behind this second serve. Making inroads again, Sharapova. It's become a bit of an issue, the second serve. Yeah, what a difference, isn't there? So much spin on it. 
that it just sat up for Maria to attack. Eleventh winner. Serena's hit 26 already. <laughs> What's the score on the come on? It's about 7 2, isn't it? I think Serena's winning the come ons at the moment because she's doing it right down the court at Maria. Near a quickest serve of the match, that one, Serena. Oh, she's got a, yeah, she'll lose the point for hindrance. Yeah. She's getting too excited there, Serena. Shouted. She's done it a couple of times before in matches. Well, that's something to uh, put to the back of the mind, Serena Williams. Because she was going to be 4 2, 4 3. Yep. Uh, yep. Now it, it's an altogether different it story. It did stop her in her tracks, and that next serve wasn't as good. Great point. <laughs> she read it too. Yeah. Super. Very good shot from that position. Advantage Williams. The off forehand. Game Williams. Silence. Yeah. Greets ace number 13. It is 4 3 now, Williams. New balls for Sharapova. She's only winning a third of her second serve points, too. So, first serve remains key. It's the first smile of the final. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. Angles and 15 slices and volleys. Her defence has been amazing tonight, Serena Williams. Well, hasn't she got better as the match has gone on? She obviously feels she can now breathe and run and chase. And uh, actually, Maria's playing pretty well. She's only taken one set in the last 11 meetings to Sharapova. She's working so hard here. Just to hang in this one.
Left hand again. She can try that? too hard. We've yeah. seen that in her career at times. Well, as happened in the last game when she shouted because she thought she'd hit a winner. And that was the hindrance. That's why she lost the point. But she calmed down right after that. Well, it's only her third, and I guess if you're going to do one, 40 love up, not going to hurt quite so much. Great messages here from Sharapova. In this indoor final now, remember. Here's a tweet to show you the outside conditions. Pretty horrendous. The luxury of the roof. Super timing. Didn't look to muscle that at all, Williams. It's 15 love. No, and Serena got over to it so quickly. So she can make it look so easy. Actually, that was pretty good return. Lex. Not many that could even stay with Williams in the mood she's in tonight and the form. Thirty love. Yeah, it's unbelievably impressive. Just five points lost behind a first serve. 29 from 34. Add game one. Williams. A love game. Williams leads five, five Set for 5-4. Sharapova's got to hold serve to stay in the final. So here we are then. Hour and 27 minutes. Sharapova having to hold serve to stay in the final. Set four five down. That was calmly played. No, come on. Needed. Love 15. Thank you, players are ready.
15-0. Big come on, because Maria knows how important that serve was. It was deep enough. second serve 30 15 and had to swiftly get over there the angles created even if it is down the line there is an angle to come back in talk about giving it everything let first service Oh. Ouch. But that's what she's up against time after time. Right shot as well. 30, 40. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please, thank you. Please. Championship point. and applauded by Williams. That's brilliant too. That was a bit reminiscent yes. of the match point she saved second round of the tournament. We're back to the DNA. Successful behind every drop shot tonight, Sharapova. Sharapova. What a time to play. Oh, no. <laughs> she hasn't done one for ages. And actually, what a gap down the line. And uh, Williams was actually probably a bit too fast coming into this. Couldn't balance quite as she hit it. What a hole. That's a wonderful noise, the ovation, the saving of the championship point. Five games all second save. The final continues. There's not many in the crowd that want no. it to stop. No, there's smiles all around in the crowd. This is wonderful tennis.
15, love. Fourth double. Oh, Guess the serve. Thought she did a good enough return. But how quick was Williams to react? from both women. <laughs> Takes your breath away. I mean, they're going at it, hammer and tongs. You can really hear Williams now, too. She's trying to pick it. It's, it's terrific to see Sharapova doing this. 40, 30. She's done it the whole match. It can get into a server's mind at the moment. Just focused on the delivery. Points one behind the second serve. Well, taking a hammering. Yes. Still the kicker, going nowhere really. Yeah, Sharapova had her pick of shots there, plenty of time. It's three from 11 in the second set now, Williams, behind it. Both screaming at the same time. <laughs> this is great. Advantage, Williams. You're getting your money's worth here tonight with this final. What a final. It's one of the matches of the tournament. Game, Williams. Ace number 16. She holds firm. Once more, a game away from the title. Williams, a set and 6-5. Hour and 39 minutes. This magnificent final continues to unfold for the second time of asking. Sharapova has to hold serve to stay in the match. Thank you, players are ready. Quite Five, please. six, second set. Fifteen, love.
30 love. Well, two easiest points that Sharapova's had for a while. Fantastic. Forty love. Refusing to buckle. First tie break in the tournament for Sharapova. Serena Williams, her second. She won the first set against Madison Key, 7 5 in the breaker. In all their previous head to heads, just the two. Serena's won both. Wimbledon, 2010, in the fourth round. And of course, Brisbane at the start of this year. She won the second set and the match in the semi finals. Last year, Brisbane, that was. Oh, she picked it. She guessed, deserves it. Guessed right. She's been trying to guess all match. 1 0. Sharapova. Five points in a row. I'm probably getting very, very excited at the moment. I was just thinking Serena's looking so calm, but then that. Anything you can do. Rack it back early, just seems to flick at it. And the ball goes so fast. Way inside the court. Three, one, Williams. It's a 17th ace. Only the second set as well. She's gone for the quiet approach yep. of late. Four, one, Williams. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> yeah. What a different look from the beginning of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. 
had the wind up for the shot and then nothing happened. She needed the left hand again after this. That left hand deserves at least 25% of her career <laughs> earnings. <laughs> I don't know if there could be any more excitement in this match, but the crowd are really enjoying it, as are we. Thank you, players are ready. Plenty of time to think Courtney about it. Williams. It's her problem at the moment, I think. And with Sharapova battling as she is, the resistance. She's right back in this breaker. And Serena's only lost three points behind her first serve in this set. Only six in the match. Both of them. Look at the emotions, they're so raw. Sometimes she just looks like she's reaching for them instead of being busy with the feet and the energy. It's three she's given away in this tie break. Quiet, please. Thank you. When you think how untidy her last forehand was, to then come up with that sums her up. Six for Williams. First championship point, just over 15 minutes ago. Two more here. That's a super Quite picture. Please. Thank you. Please. Just will not surrender. What a serve right in the corner. And then just Six, goes five, for it. Williams. Oh, she's played some of the best tennis on match points in this championship. Where's this Thank serve you, going? Gentlemen. Thank you. Take a guess. Please. Thank you. Third championship point. 
Let's. Oh. <laughs> As if we hadn't had enough drama. <laughs> it was, you could hear it. <laughs> it's amazing. Thought she'd won it there and then. She'll have to compose herself again. Well, it's from shaking hands to first serve. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, which way does she go? Players are ready. Thank you. Stunning. Was it a let? No. You're the champion for the sixth time. What a final. What a performance from both women. The best possible medicine for Serena Williams. <laughs> a 19th Grand Slam title. Well, that was a very good handshake, I have to say, at the net. Great respect, the two of them. But you can understand why she's jumping for joy after feeling so ill at the start. One hour and 51, very memorable minutes. Another major success for the team. Major disappointment, of course, for Sharapova, but what a final she played. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I mean, the emotions out there. And uh, Sharapova, I think, you know, best she's probably played for quite a while. Best she's served for a while. And Williams' is serve, well, that's something else. I mean, to go to the same place and make it even more accurate and hit her 18th ace to secure the title. Well, it would get anybody jumping for joy. She joins Helen Wills Moody on 19 majors. She's closing in on Steffi Graf with 22 and Margaret Court, of course, with 24. Yes, and you wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> How much does this one mean? Yes. Compared to all of the others. Maybe the illness, maybe the thought. Only she knows how bad she was. And Were there any thoughts of not being able to play? Of course not. It's a grand slam, but she's defied the odds in terms of the health. Not the match. It's the 16th straight win against Sharapova, but maybe none tougher than this one. Uh, and I know, you know, that's 16 times in a row now that Serena's beaten Maria, but what a match. We couldn't really have asked for anything more. Just the interplay between them, they just gave it everything they had. Don't you start crying. <clears throat> no, I was, uh, no, I'm getting Serena's cough. <laughs> <laughs> you should get out on a tennis court then. You're going to play some pretty good stuff. <laughs> Almost disbelief there wasn't another let. Yes. <laughs> Took a while to register, didn't it? That she'd actually won with that ace at the end and then she was off. Well, the music comes from one direction. She's only going one way, deeper into the record books. It really was a good exchange on the handshake. They both wanted so badly success. And as Safru has pointed out, a kangaroo would be proud of those. <laughs> Childlike the celebration. Wonderful. Unadulterated joy. <laughs> she hasn't <laughs> won here since 2010. 
How many more? Because if she can win when she's not healthy. She's still very much the one to beat. Disappointing last year, of course, the majors for Serena, just winning back home in New York. It led to a lot of speculation about this year, but as she pointed out, she wanted to get to 18, to join Navratilova and Everett so badly. She put too much pressure on herself. It became so stressful. But she certainly found the way here. Stage almost set for the uh, presentations. She couldn't have given any more Maria Sharapova. Virtually most other women couldn't possibly have lived with Serena Williams tonight. Wow. <laughs> well, I wonder how much energy she's got for celebrations later on tonight. Daphne Atkhurst Memorial Cup. Five times a champion, Atkhurst herself. Plenty of tweets. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been more than a decade since the number one and two player have played in the final here at the Australian Open. And what a performance we've seen. Congratulations to both Serena and Maria tonight. A lot of history has been made here tonight, but perhaps a little later for some of that. We're joined tonight by Stephen Healy, who's the president of Tennis Australia, one of our great sponsors, ANZ, and the Chief Executive Officer, Mike Smith. Young Anna Bishop, who's eight years of age and is a hot shot nominee of the year for ANZ, all the way from Canada. Good on you, Anna. Thank you for joining us. And next to Anna, a legend who celebrates an anniversary of 30 years since she won the Australian Open for the third time, 18-time Grand Slam winner, Martina Navratilova. We're also joined by the Chief Executive of Tennis Australia and the Tournament Director, Craig Tiley, and the Tournament Referee, Mr Wayne McEwen. So great to have Craig and Wayne here. So, without further ado, I now invite the President of Tennis Australia, Stephen Healy, to come forward and say a few words. Stephen. Thank you and good evening, everyone. It has been a magnificent fortnight of women's tennis. I'd like to thank all of the WTA players who participated in this draw and made the Grand Slam so special. Thank you to all of our sponsors for everything they do to assist us in this tournament, and in particular to Kia, to ANZ, Jacobs Creek and Rolex, and a very special thank you also to the Victorian Government for all of their support in continually improving this stadium and making it the greatest facility in the tennis world. Thank you very much. <laughs> to our tournament team, led by Tournament Director Craig Tiley, our referee Wayne McEwen, and the 8,412 people who come together to run this tournament and make it such a great experience for everyone. Thank you to each and every one of you. It is much appreciated. To all of the fans that provide the appreciation and the atmosphere in here, I know how much the players appreciate it. And thank you for coming in your great numbers in here. And to the players, Maria, bad luck tonight. It was a breathtaking final. I'm sure that you will win the Australian Open again. To Serena, absolutely incredible effort. Your sixth Australian Open, 
your 19th Grand Slam, the third highest of all time, and still the number one player in the world. Congratulations. And I now call on the chair umpire, Alison Hughes, to come forward and receive her gift. Well done, Alison, and thank you, Stephen. <coughs> well, what about Maria Sharapova? She's won all the Grand Slams. She's been a past winner here. She's been a finalist here before. She staved off two match points in the second round. She fought off a couple more tonight. No one could have fought more bravely or played really as well as her tonight. So it just wasn't quite enough, but boy, it was great. Maria, would you like to come forward? And I invite Martina and also Mike and Anna to come forward with the check on the trophies. Bruce McAvenny leading the uh, proceedings here. One million five hundred and fifty thousand Australian dollars. The runners up check. Tenth major final, fourth here. Gave it everything. Well, first of all, um, I got to congratulate Serena on creating history, on um, playing some of her best tennis. Um, it's really an honor playing against her. I haven't beaten her in a really long time, but I, I love every time that I step on the court to play against her because she's, she's been the best. And um, as a tennis player, you want to play against the best. So congratulations um, on an incredible achievement. I gotta say, it's uh, been a long couple of weeks here for me. Um, I was almost down and out in the second round, so um, I feel like I gave myself a second life in this tournament, and I gave myself an opportunity. It wasn't quite enough today, um, but I'm proud of the effort. I'm proud of my couple weeks here. Um, I love playing on Rod Laver Arena. I love everything about this tournament. I've had some of the best memories of my career on this court, and also some of my toughest losses as well, but that's the life of a tennis player. <laughs> I want to thank my incredible team for supporting me, everyone in the box, um, my family and friends that are watching on TV. Um, your support with tennis and everything else um, is really priceless. For everyone that makes this event um, one of the best in the world, thank you to Craig. You make us so happy every time. Where is he? He's over there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Craig Tiley. He is uh, one of the best tournament directors you'll ever see on, on the tour. So um, congrats to him on putting up one of the best events in the world. And last but not least, the fans. Um, without you, we wouldn't be playing, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be encouraged and inspired. You guys are the best. You come from all over the world and from Australia, and we thank you so much for supporting us. And I can't wait to come back. Thank you. Well done, Maria. Tennis is in great shape. I I think it's fair to say the two most famous sports women in the world are here tonight, Maria and Serena in all sports. 19 Grand Slams, six Australian Opens, one more now than Martina and Chrissy who are both here tonight, and maybe closing in on Steffi and Margaret, who knows, but let her enjoy the moment. Have we ever seen anything quite like her? She's a phenomenon, an icon, a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Serena Williams. She'll have to go some to beat the speech. <laughs> Sixth time aloft, the Daphne Hackhurst Memorial Cup. 
I love you back. I really do. Um, gosh, where do I start? Uh, I have to thank Jehovah God for this. I was down and out, and he helped me today, and I just said prayers, and just not to win, but to be strong and, and to be healthy. And, you know, in the end, I was able to come through, so I have to give glory to him first and foremost. Um, <laughs> I... I also have to uh, congratulate Maria, who played a wonderful, wonderful match tonight. She really, really pushed me tonight, and, um, you know, she played so well. We gave us a, a great final for, not only for you guys, but for women's tennis, and just for all the sponsors that support our sport and support all of us. So I'm really honored that I got to play you in the final, so thank you very much. Um, you know, I, I, growing up, I, I, you know, I grew up, I wasn't the richest, um, but I had a rich family in, in spirit and in, in, in support. And, um, you know, standing here <laughs> with 19 championships is something I never thought would happen, you know, just, I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hope, and, and that's all I had. And I, it's inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be and want to do the best that you can do. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence. So I just, I'm so honored. <laughs> I'm, I'm so honored to be here tonight and to, to hold this 19th trophy and have it do, done in front of one of my favorite stadiums, my favorite stadium. You guys really support me every year I come, no matter what. I love you guys so much, and I cannot thank you enough for the support that you continually give me every year. So thank you so much to the crowd. <laughs> Um, I think this is the longest speech I've ever given, but I hope you guys bear with me. I'm, I'm just so excited to have, to have this title. Um, I, I can't leave without thanking my friends and my family and my coach, Patrick, for getting me through this. Um, you really believed in me, Patrick. Uh, there are moments when I didn't believe in me and you did, and y you really were able to help me get through this, this week, these two weeks and everything. So. Um, I, I'm so grateful to have you in my life and on my team and everyone else in the box. Um, I just really thank you for this week, these two weeks. <laughs> I thank you. Um, of course, the sponsors, Craig Tiley. I second what Maria said. He's undoubtedly one of the greatest tournament directors in the world. So thank you for that. And. Um, Also, um, I did an ad earlier in the week for m and and it is a lot of, of, of people are affected by it. Um, and I posted it on my Facebook account, so you can look at it. So every ace that I hit this whole tournament, I'm donating, I said 100, but I'll do 200 for every ace to support m and and to raise awareness for this disease. Um, so thank you guys very much. I love you with all my heart and all my soul. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2015 Australian Open champion, Serena Williams. A wonderful A final. for the ages will be... A photograph opportunity in a moment, and Serena will do a lap of honor. Thank you, everybody. Serena Williams, the champion. Well, wonderful evening for women's tennis all round. Two great speeches and absolutely brilliant tennis. What more could you want? Absolutely. Yes, the one and two in the world. First time for 11 years that's happened. They didn't disappoint, not for a second. 
So game set and match. But don't forget the men's doubles final with Safru and Simon Reid will be coming your way as well. That's it from me and Joe. Thanks for your company. Big one tomorrow night too. Murray Djokovic. The Australian Open is brought to you by BetAtHome.com. Life's a game. In Equatorial Guinea, the tempo is quickening. It's the Africa Cup of Nations, and the group phase is finished. They are fighting for the continental crown, and there'll be no quarter given. The quarterfinals of the Africa Cup of Nations, today at 16.45 and 20.15, live on Eurosport. Solid, spectacular slalom skiing. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, she's miles ahead. Brilliant skiing. This is a huge moment here. Oh, that's a sensational win from Lamy Chapuy. And his Super Eagles have made history. and miss the black. I don't think there's any danger. He's going to win. Oh, superb. Come on. Well genius from the rocket. Roy O'Sullivan does it again. She makes it look so easy. Another victory. Just going to miss the podium. Down into four. Oh, so unlucky. All sports, all emotions. It's February, live on Eurosport. Serena Williams has done it again. She has captured her sixth Australian Open title. What a champion she is. Welcome to Game Set and Mats, everyone. Of course, Mats is with me. What a finals we've uh, just seen. It was not lacking in drama towards the end as well. Did you enjoy it? I did very much, yeah. Um, it was great that Sharapova hung in there like she did. I mean, all credit to her because it was very clear that Serena was going to try and but literally blow her off the court with, with power and obviously with the serving. But uh, yeah, a very, very good final intensity at as high as you can possibly get. Uh, and then a great tiebreaker to end. Uh, Sharapova somehow got her back into it. And then, and then Serena, I don't know, how do you go for two aces at the end? It's, it's unbelievable. But the, let's, the let's, let's have a look at the beginning of the match. I think it was really important. Serena to get off a, a good start and she did she she got the early break I think that she's so committed to her game plan and I think that's where where some 
all tennis players can learn from is that she, when she has a game plan, uh, she commits to it. When she commits to a serve, uh, you can really tell that she puts every effort uh, into it. Uh, and it's not just physical, but it's also tactical uh, and emotional. And I think that's important. And they didn't play for long, you know, with the roof open at 3-2, uh, I think. Uh, they had to close uh, the roof and um, Serena was leaving the court. Um, Maria went, uh, stayed on the court. It was not an easy um, thing for, for them to handle, I think, during a final especially, wasn't it? It, it was very difficult, yes. Sharapova came back and didn't win a point for for about six points in a row, but but I think in that point you see, yeah, and cool. you see right there the flexibility. But you saw her defender. I think that's the big difference uh, the today with with Serena Williams. She defends better than Chapova, and then she can turn it on, and then obviously serve and be more well, aggressive as well. And look at this game. It was three all in the second set. Love thirty, and then oh, bang, yes. bang, bang, bang. The serve. She yeah. can always rely on it. And it's not that she's going to the to the easy corner, which would be the slice serve. She goes flat to the backhand uh, and aces her there. So. Uh, Unbelievable resolve, Serena Williams. And that was match point in, in the second set, and uh, Maria Sharapova was able to win the point, and uh, it turned out to be a battle towards <laughs> the end. Then. I cannot believe that she went for that shot, but, but Serena, I think she's thinking Sharapova is going to challenge, but she didn't challenge, and now she realizes that, oh, I've won. So a little bit of an anticlimactic end, I suppose, but. Um, Great final, a really great final, easily between the two best players in look the women's that, tour at the moment. Look at the joy from Serena Williams. She had the strength there to jump up and down like that. She's just over the moon, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, well, we've heard all, I mean, we, we know that she hasn't been well. You could hear that she wasn't well. She's been coughing, you could hear her voice, but, but obviously adrenaline is the best medicine. And you know that when you're playing matches, if you get pumped up for it, it goes away. I think this is uh, really a, a team effort as well to, to push her on, could it, she could have easily thrown in the towel at some point uh, in the middle of this week, but she didn't. And um, How important yeah. do you think it was to win that uh, second set today for Serena Williams? Because throughout the match, you always thought, oh, is she struggling? Is she not struggling physically? You, do, you just weren't sure. I think it was very important because I think Sharapova, was, she was starting to play better and better. And she, and she played well the whole match, no, don't get me wrong, but she was really trying to play, uh, starting to play better in the tiebreaker. Uh, and if she wins the second set, but... She didn't because Serena Williams, in general, wins 75% of her service points when it counts. I think that's the big difference. Sharapova doesn't serve as well when it's a big point. When she has to have a first serve, it's not always there. When Serena needs a first serve, she makes it. She either hits a safe slice serve, wins the next uh, shot, or she aces her opponent, and that's unbelievable. And what about uh, Maria Sharapova? I always have the feeling when she plays against Serena Williams, her, her, the look on her face is different. She's, she's tight. You can see the tension. It's a little bit like uh, with uh, Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. I, I think it is. I really f think that she's a little bit, uh, doesn't know what to do. Uh, she doesn't have the perfect game to play against Serena because you, uh, you have to be a good defender uh, and most probably a good server too. But uh, Sharapova is, is, she has a great game against most players, but it just, this is the closest match though I've seen between the two of them since, since a long time. And, and I think this is the best I think Maria has looked in this matchup. And, and there, I think she, she didn't play with nothing to lose, but I think she let it fly a little bit more today and she sort of let it go. She didn't play within herself and I think that's why it became so close. But I have to say, uh, a lot of credit to Sharapova for hanging in there knowing that you haven't won in 10 years. What would you have liked to see her do more on the court out there, Maria Sharapova? I mean, I think that it's... I don't know if she has it in her right now, but I mean, she hit a couple of drop shots and she's showing that she has nice touch. Uh, she hit one slice backhand that was very nice. She hit it down the line and she came in. Uh, I think she needs to learn how to take a little bit of pace off her serve and sort of widen her serve a little bit and get Serena out of her strike zone. Um, obviously, the serve has to improve a little bit. She has to have a little more work on the second serve. It's not easy. I mean, she has to keep working. She has yeah. to be a better mover. And I don't know if there's one particular area. I think she has to improve sort of 1% in many different areas. And then the last thing is hang in there. Keep well, playing. She, because she does she, that. She does that, but, but not just today and not just I I this year. Hang in there and keep playing because she's not necessarily from the same generation as Serena. Serena is four years older, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even five. And so uh, Maria's time will come when there is no Serena and suddenly if she keeps this up, she can win two or three majors every year for three or four years in a row. So 
keep working and, and try and, and win these tournaments again and she can easily get up to 10 grand slams. And she always said she looks forward. Okay, let's have a look at the statistics of that match, uh, Mats, where you see the biggest, biggest differences. Here we go. Here they come. Just look at the first serve percentage. It's pretty even, actually. Yeah, the ace is 18 to 5. That's 13 points well, difference. That's huge. Uh, that's, uh, what is that? That's three service games of just aces. Uh, unforced errors. Sharapova 15 and winners 21. See that? 38 winners and 25 for Serena. That means it was a good match. When the winners are way more than the unforced errors, uh, that means it's a very tight match. They play with high intensity, they play very smart shots, and they measured. Every time they went for a winner, uh, it was measured, and they, they usually pulled it off. Can you believe it that she won 19 Grand Slam titles? It feels like we were just at the US Open when she won her 18th. Do you think she's uh, able to capture 22? I mean, yes. You would think so, maybe even this year. Huh? That's it, yes. I can't, I can't believe it now that she's won 19, but go back two, three, four years ago, and there's no way she was going to win She was going to win 19, because we didn't even know at some point if she was going to come back and play for health reasons, and go back further. We weren't even sure if she was going to keep playing. So uh, I think uh, right now we're not surprised, but if you look through her career, then I am surprised that she now has more than Martina Navratilova, and Chrissy Everett. It's pretty impressive. Now, the day is not over yet. We